how do you define ethics and, and how do you define ethics in a way that a, a machine can understand? And so um, a lot of the things that I see today are, are like fairly black and white. Like you can target this, you can't target that, you can use this data, you can't use that data. Um, but I'm curious, you know, to, to the group, like, um, like how do we do a better job of defining that rule set um, as an industry and then also defining that rule set as something that could exist um, globally? Because I think ethics laws are, are interesting across countries and so I think that's another thing that um, is, is something worth, worth talking about. So I, oh, somebody has a question. Hi, Dan Kidd from Data Wallet. I think what it really comes down to is um, a, a universal identity for a person and then having that tied to some kind of permissioning engine on what they'll allow then dictates what the ethical uses are for AI. It'd be interesting hearing your perspective on that. I'll start and maybe Mark, maybe you have some comments and others as well. Uh, so that's a really good one, right? And that, that ties to an earlier point that we, we kind of went over is what are consumers willing to share um, in terms of privacy, right? Um, and certainly, you know, we run uh, media property, obviously the weather company media properties. Uh, so we, you know, work with consumers directly when they consume our content um, and things like GDPR and some of the California laws that are, that are coming into play are really important if you're on the, the publishing side and working with consumers. Um, so to your, to your point, how do we get to a level of identity, right, that, um, consumers are comfortable with, businesses are comfortable with. Um, I think it's a really hard question. I know there's some solutions out in the market that, that are being worked on by a, probably some companies in this room. Um, I don't know, my, my view would be that the consumer is gonna kind of drive that, that process, right? So it's really about being transparent um, and making sure that consumers are comfortable with uh, whatever sort of framework we develop um, but this is where, again, the IAB can be a really important kind of uh, arbiter here is what do we all agree on, right? What, what's, what's the right answer um, among folks in this room?